All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, the Mysterious JG, here for a Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. Uh, this should be, uh, if all goes well, the first video in a while that did not have major league uh, sound issues. Cannot really explain what caused the sound issues before uh, with the game video and game sound being out of sync. And sadly, because of the fact that I don't know what caused that in the first place, I haven't been able to actually do anything to change it other than, like, you know, pull the plug out of the back of my PS2, the uh, audiovisual out, reconnect that. It's kind of manky, though. It's in bad shape, so... Oh. Just missed a sound effect there, so I'm already feeling a little trepidatious. But, um... Oh, we'll see, folks. We'll see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record no more than maybe two videos this time. So, uh, you know, I usually, if I have the time, I'll sit down and I'll do a... Mar I'll find time. I'll make some time. I'll do a marathon recording session of two hours or more. And I'll cut that up in videos, and we're good to go. This time I think I, I will do no more than an hour. Or two videos, whatever that ends up being. Because, yeah, I kind of don't want to put you through that many videos of messed up sound. But I'm not sure how I could have gone about fixing it. Blah, 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 blah. Long story short, um, if this sound is messed up on this video, that means that I'm in a bit of a conundrum. Uh, to get this to not mess up in the future, I don't know what it would involve. If I can get an, uh, another PS2 game to, to LP and record well, it would mean that the problems with this game, if I try another game and I can't get it to work, then the problem might be with my PS2. You know. Uh, I mean, I guess I could buy a new PS2. I'm not made of money, folks, but at the same time, PS2s aren't too expensive right now, and I've got a ton of games for my old PS2. I would think, hey, this is a good excuse to treat myself, maybe save up some money, maybe cut out some other things out of my budget and get a PS3. If I already got an Xbox 360, I wouldn't normally be the kind of person who'd have both video game systems that are the current video game systems at any given time. I did not have a, a SNES and a Genesis at the same time, for example. But uh, the problem is the new PS3s don't play PS2 games because they fucking suck. Anyway, yeah, I think you can get ones that still play the PS2 games, but they're like not even the top of the line PS3s now. And it just makes me angry. But anyway, all right, so what was going on in China the last time we were together, folks? Well, I'd pushed forward and taken uh, Chen Liu. And uh, the trouble that I'm running into now is that Cao Cao is really, really trying to take back Guangdu. And it's looking like they're going to be able to do it. I might not be able to stop them. I'll probably be able to retake it, hopefully before the naval units that I already have out here run out of food. I wasn't being, you know, I've been accused of being too conservative. I don't think I was conservative enough there. Because I really should have just not sent a bunch of naval forces out until I knew Guangdu was secure. I mean, I could put more troops in it. It's not running out of hit points or anything. Maybe that's what I really need to do, is just put more troops in it. Did you get there? We couldn't. Could we take you out? No, we can't. There's like 13,000 of you. And I'm already drop. It sounds like I'm dropping sound already. Raskanyikov. Maybe it won't be too bad. So I got to, I'm at the start of a turn. There's so many different things that I've got to figure out what to do. About. Uh, as we've gone over before, and I sound like a broken record, but the plan is basically to try and, you know, march my way here to... What is this body of water called? I've got a handful of Chinese fans who are probably laughing at me. Even more, they usually laugh at the way I pronounce the names. But I don't know what this is. It's not... I mean, the, the South China Sea is, like, down here. Uh... I know that you got, like, it won't scroll far enough over for us to get to where, like, Korea and Japan are. Like, the Sea of Japan is in here, isn't it? I don't know what this body of water call is called, folks, but I'm going to march my way there, cut South South's territory of Wei basically in half, and I'm going to try to take out Northern Wei, the old uh, stomping grounds of the Yuans and the Gongzuns, and leave the final battles with South South to take place here, because that will give the armies of Wu something to do. Uh, other than just stockpile troops for the inevitable showdown with me. 
So we'll see how well that works. I guess that would mean that uh, my next target is going to have to be Pooh Yang. Pooty Tang! <laughs> the hilarious new movie starring me, sorry. So I'll have to take Pooh Yang eventually. And, uh, I don't know, I might try to swing north from there. Not push all the way back to the shore. Leave Bay High alone. Or maybe take Bay High. I don't know. If we take Pooty Yang there, and, uh, then, uh, Lin G here. I don't care about the one. Bulwark info. Yeah, if I take Lin G, then I basically cut them in half. And but uh, if I don't take Bay High, they will harass me from there. So Bay, I'll probably like push east until I have Bay High. Leave Zhao Pei alone. It's got a lot of troops in it. Well, I mean, a crazy amount. But uh, some of their biggest cities that that he's got left are like Zhao Pei and Jia Pei. So, yeah, if I take Xiao... Maybe if I take Xiao Pi and Bei Hai, I have, like, a really strong army of... I have to build a lot of towers around here just so that I can make them defensible while I've got my premier officers up here conquering the north. Either way, we're not ready to get that far yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. We've got to, uh... deal with our situation here first, so... Can you get in range to attack these guys? Yes. Does the power of God's command, motherfucker? Darn. I don't have any officers free there, so I really need to send the siege unit out to be on standby to retake Guandu when Yue Jin inevitably takes Guandu. In the meantime, the uh, temptation for me is just to finish this guy off. They've got more guys on the way to help out, though. As long as they're on fire, I might as well just harass them. Forever and ever. Dudes are they? Force info? No. Unit info. Well, they're in boats right now, but what weapons do they carry on land? They're spears. And they're S spears. So I need to think about getting some pikes up there. Meanwhile, I've got a supply unit that hopefully will not be completely just wiped out before he can do his thing. I've still got units that haven't moved yet. Oh! Uh, Jank Fei's out here with the Pike Unit building stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Well, how much gold has he got with him? Uh, 600. So I must have had... I must have intended for him to build two, um... crossbow turrets, and then take his leave. So what I'll do is I'll just... I'll have him finish that, and then he'll start marching north. And, uh... Hopefully Guan Yu will not be wiped out before he can get there. Chu Chang is in the hands of Liu Bei and the Emperor, baby. Uh, Runan is about ready to fall any old time. Bernard Elemena is gonna burn, baby, burn. If it survives, which it just barely did, Jing Zai is gonna sweep in and steal the credit. <laughs> I do this for Guan Ping and for JG, who's like just fucking ridiculous with over favoring my unit. Oh, no. Runan captured. I believe this is actually the city from which the units that took uh, Jia P marched way back when. Dong Zhuo. I don't remember who he is, but I feel like I should. 
dudes. Guan Ning, I recognize him as the guy I keep seeing and thinking is Guan Ning. That's pretty much what I know about him, is that he's not Guan Ning. Uh, there's no officers here that I recognize, although I'm sure some of them are important to people who are a little bit more, you know, informed than I am. I would not help you even if it were to save my own life. I'm not interested in switching alliances. I refuse. Allegiances. I refuse. If I betray my husband, oh, I wonder who her husband is. I will never be able to show my face to him again. I like her. She's, uh, you know, all the in this game they tend to make all the women look like super beautiful, whatever. She looks like a, you know, a, a, a pretty but not ridiculous, like you know, goddess statue, beautiful kind of chick. I approve. You interest me, me. I won't make you won't make me your servant so easily. I, I am so loyal that I've even got a tiny head like Cao Cao's, even though I have to have a strap on mine to keep it on. And just switching allegiances, I refuse, though clearly my head's too large. Serving you will not help me, I refuse. I would not help you if it were to save my own life. I think we captured him before at some point. Or somebody who looks similar to him. I have no desire to serve you, now leave me alone. You fool, do you think I will submit to you? Now him, I know we've had captured before. Thought we even had him, made him join our force. Maybe he, yeah, he must have escaped. You underestimate me. You won't make me serve you so easily, etc. Zhang Chihuahua. We have to figure out who her husband is. Works the war against me now. I've decided not to execute her, even though I executed other people who were married women, because I figured they wouldn't join me while their off their husbands were still alive. So let's uh, see who who is uh, who Zhang Chihuahua is. Stronger strategy with high intelligence. That's Sima Yi's wife. Yeah, uh, well, I don't think the game keeps, like, I don't think Sima Yi will hate me and never join my force if I kill his wife. I think the connection will be forgotten by Sima Yi and the game. But, uh, absolutely, if I captured her, I would treat her with absolute respect, kindness, and dignity in the hopes that it would uh, earn me some points with Sima or Sorry, it's a. Shuma Yi, I guess. Suma Yi is uh, how Dynasty Warrior 7 pronounces it. Sima Yi, Suma Yi, he's pretty much the Mac Daddy. He's portrayed in the Dynasty Warriors games as being evil Zhuge Liang, which is basically just like really smart, capable dude. Joined um, Master Reaper in uh, the uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 6 LP, as I recall. It was a major, major part of Master Reaper's success. Suma Yi. Maybe it's a different Suma. No, I think Suma he joined him. He used to join him in one of them, one of the LPs. It's either six or four. Meanwhile, Cao Cao is looking to take Han Xi Hao and he's going to personally retake Wan Ko. You guys need to be concentrating on Yu Lu Yang. Wei is uh, seriously close, close to finally. I don't know why it's uh, taking them so long, but they're they're finally going to drive. Wu off of, you know, it's back south of the Zhangdong, except, of course, that I forgot they took, uh, Jiang Jia, which is now where Mr. Galagoth is, uh, calling home these days. Speaking of Mr. Galagoth and created officers in general, there are created officers in my force, like, I don't think Pancake's guy's watching this LP anymore, I haven't heard him comment in a really long time. He's commenting on other videos and not this one, so I think this one may have just been a little more, a little bit more than his patience could handle. But uh, Sorkin Nail is still watching, and he has not been involved in combat. At least uh, since joining my force. So Sorkin Nail, I, I sh and Mass Honor is there too. Sorkin Nail, I should give him a chance to, uh, to shine at some point. I will keep that in mind. For right now, Sorkin Nail is kind of SOL because... Uh, well, I guess I could send him down there at the big navy unit. Do we have any ships here? If not, we could certainly make one. Yeah, 60 days. Let's get them to work on a big ship so that I can send... What are, I wonder what Sorkin Nail's uh, naval. I sort of assume it's high because created officers just generally have higher naval than everyone else, except for Wu officers. Oh man, you suck, Sorkinale. That's the one thing you're not good at. It was what I was going to throw you in there to do. I mean, you get a B instead of a C, but that's pretty much what all my dudes have. 
Oh, well. It's probably a waste of that effort and time to build a boat, then. Get another spike unit heading down, uh... Sorkin Ale is not available. I've already got him doing something. Oh, yeah, never mind. Sorkin Ale is actually, I think, doing my current research, isn't he? I was trying to get you out there with the pike unit to help out Sorkin Ale, but I think, uh... Yeah, you're working, I believe, on developing Elite Cavalry. It'd be very useful when you finish, but, um... You will not be free until you finish, so... Alright, so Runon will need to be rebuilt soon-ish. Over here, you guys have almost got this barbarian threat dealt with, but, uh... Plague is still on, and order is still crap in that city. In that city... Uh -huh. What about Zhu Chang? Chen Liu is the city that kind of needs the most support right now. What if I, uh... I can just recruit... and inspect... And drill to get through my action points quickly. Then, is there anyone left that can have... get some more, uh... horses going here. Officers up here kind of already did stuff. I guess I could recruit and uh, inspect. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. Let's uh, let's watch the inevitable fall of Guandu and then wrap this uh, turn. We'll wrap this turn up and watch Guandu Guandu collapse. I'll have to. We'll have to let that barbarian citadel, the Kiong citadel, fall on screen action. Xiao Dun took Wan Ko, which we kind of knew was going to happen. Yeah. Damn it. Platform, but they're getting ready for a land war, and I can't say that I blame them. Now, I believe, uh, unselectable, unselectable, yeah, I can prevent them from deploying these troops here. So, Guan Yu's presence is, is not, not going to waste or anything like that. He's, uh, he's going to basically block them in, so they're trapped in that fort. And I suppose he's got willpower, so I could make him just, uh, set fire to it or something. Oh, the best tactician ever. Set fire to my stuff, dude. Look at this photograph. Make the watch just split the wrist. Um, the little nonsensical tribute to, uh, Grimith R there. Another guy is no longer watching this LP, but... At least he vaguely intends to, he's just busy. Wah, wah, people are watching my movie. Okay. Alright, Sun Wukong, Shi Grimith, and Vulture Bobo, I believe, are still in a unit together in that boat. Oh, fuck it. And... Um... Pardon me a second, folks. Sorry, you're dealing with kind of a rinky-dink setup here. Uh, I believe that, uh, yeah, I was definitely getting like all sorts of interference on my screen. I believe it was also showing up in the recording. 
sorry. And it's about a 99% chance I will not remember to go edit out the period where I went to adjust that, so you're just going to have to deal with the month crackle for me picking up sending down headsets. But, anyway, we are going to soldier on as though that didn't happen. Bonjour! We speak French, mon ami! Oui, oui, monsieur! They probably should be concentrating on retaking that port so that they don't get stranded out at sea, but, um... I mean, there's other friendly ports they could go to on this river. It's like now, I like the idea of trapping those soldiers there and then breaking them with a siege action. Now I've got my towers in place. And I pretty much decided that we're not going to let um, their troops out. So there's really no point in uh, sending... Excuse me, a bunch of... Wow, some really good officer sees on drill. Oh, fine, I'll use them. Because I'm going to send uh, Zhuge Liang up there, actually. That's it for today. It looks like the soldiers are doing better too. And she passes out. Yeah, it's it's probably going to be uh, Juge who gets to go out there and personally deal with them. And I think I will leave him behind, that guy, on account of the fact that I just want to keep officers in town to do stuff. Juge is going to go retake that port, and then everything will be hunky dory. Chi Hao Mao, you are one of the most useless officers in the game. Are you sure you want us to move to Chen Liu, Captain? <laughs> yes. And then I'll have you go back to Liu Yang. Now we've got more dudes here. There's no more space for development. Awesome. So this uh, city's actually all... I mean, the buildings are not complete, but I've got uh, everything going, so hopefully that will not slow things down too much. I'll be ready to push on to Kuti Tang soon. And uh, I think I will ignore Xiao Pi and let that be like Cao Cao's capital for his actions. Well, no, Xiao Chun. Si Suiyan? Is that who's running the city? Oh, that's a different person who I thought it was. I thought it was uh, the, the non Gen G chick in Dynasty Warrior 7. There's like more than one name going around for her, so I get confused. Sorry, folks. Doing. I need to concentrate on uh, the city that Jin Kai took on the last turn, Runan. You guys still have not finished this thing off yet. Um, just saying. I mean, not criticizing you. I'm just I'm, I'm noting the fact in my own mind. Alright, let's get you guys in uh, the city. Uh huh. So you can start uh, helping us get this place built up. Ding. I, 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 yeah, I just finished, folks, the, uh... I've been LPing Dynasty Warrior 7 along with Boba the Vulture, and, um... I sort of... We're, we're, for me, it's a blind LP of the Way Story mode, and they're all gonna be blind for Bobo because he doesn't have his own copy of the game. We've been playing it at my place. But, um... The epic awesomeness of it is that, um... I guess I'll just inspect on the first turn, get everything back up to where it should be. Sort of an example. Woohoo! But, um. Yeah, we're doing the way story mode together. At this point, though, because I've been playing it by myself, uh, that's the only um, story mode that I haven't finished. I finished uh, Shu Wu and Jin. Um. And why did I mention that? Oh, uh. Because I was playing around, uh, the Jin was the last one I finished, not counting Wei, which I haven't finished yet because I'm doing it with Bobo on uh, the LP. But, uh, with Jin, you know, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Uh, it is the first, it was the, 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 really the new and exciting thing about the, uh, the game for longtime Dynasty Warriors fans because they'd never done Jin storyline before. Um, kind of, well, you know, you make your own decisions and have your own opinion if you ever play it, but I found it kind of a little underwhelming, but 
the the thing about Jin is that uh, you know he spent a lot of it fighting against the new Shu, where like the really important Shu characters are dead. So it's just like Jiang Wei, Ma Dai, and a bunch of other you know generic generals. And uh, Jing Tsai keeps showing up as an opponent. She never has a lot of dialogue or anything, but she keeps being one of the enemy officers on the maps that you're facing. And then she has this dramatic speech at the end where she's like, in the final battle where you defeat her, she's like, Zhang Fei, Guan Ping, I'm sorry. The future of Shu is too much of a burden for my shoulders to bear. And it's just like, Guan Ping! <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's, it was felt like it was an incredibly dramatic, intense moment. Uh, which was not feature her going Quang Ping! Because she doesn't go Quang Ping! And then it's very tragic and disappointing. But now she's running her own city, so hopefully um, she will not have to carry the weight of Shu's future alone since uh, Shu is now recording the entire office, recruiting the entire officer corps of Wei as it takes over. Alright, so getting back to business here. Uh, I got five officers ready to go now. Let me see. Yeah, we have a lot of equipment here because I just got. just took delivery of some stuff. But I think I probably should have sent some more stuff, actually. I don't have any officers over here anymore, though. We should have sent over some more towers, I think. What about, uh. Chu Chang? It's got Liu Bei in it. Running the show here. It's got a hell of a lot of money. They got about 70,000 troops. Chen Liu, where I'll be launching my future attacks from, is about 40. I don't think I will launch an attack from Zhu Chang on. It's just a much longer road to get to. Uh... Pudi Yang, so I think they should reinforce the city over here. We're gonna have Jihan Sanji do it. But I'm thinking uh, a better idea might be to uh, keep Liu Bei involved in the combat here. Well, you know what? Liu Bei should probably be hanging out with the Emperor is. But I do kind of feel like I want to have my more useful, uh... Useful guys over there, you know, fighting and stuff. So we'll get these guys to head over there. Well, Jihan Sanji, I don't know how useful he is, really, but, um... They picked him as my guy to lead a, uh... Transport unit. That usually means he sucks. They pick somebody who's not going to be useful for anything else. I forget what the suppression is, but it sounds pretty cool. Then again, so does Vehemence. Let's send Sun Li over there. And I ain't the Sun Li! And we'll just send them over with a whole mess of good stuff. And we'll have the. This is my capital. I really shouldn't leave it undefended, but uh, I'm sure that we'll be able to um, get it back up to snuff later. stay there too. In the meantime now I can uh, recruit, inspect, drill, and there we go. All my action points used up. The perfect turn. I'm going to take one more turn and then I guess I'll end this video. And wow, maybe I really need to take over that city directly again, but once they finish this thing off, they come back. I'd like to think they have the sense to start increase increasing order. Or maybe some of these other cities could send officers down there to help out, but they've got like... Yeah, Han Zhong is like... That's in District 4. What district is this Playgrid City in 4? So they ought to send some... Off 
Ugh, I've left it under the computer's control, but I would really think they would send some officers up there to help. What are you guys? What are you guys about? Obviously, a really good cavalry unit, but they don't have enough gold or food to be doing anything other than just... They're hanging out! I guess they're going to help suppress the barbarians, which will be suppressed by the time they get there. Oh, well. Ooh, now, like... Jin Yang's got a transport unit going out there to, uh... Maybe they're uh, reinforcing their gates. I mean, I, I think it looks like the South's house forces are... Must think that the fight's coming to Yi. Yay! Because they're reinforcing there. But anyway. Let's get on with this uh, next turn. Congratulations, Sork and Nail. And other guys. Sorkin's nail leader, their nails leader, is now 89. So let's see if we can get him into a fight for the forces of Shu Han before this is over. We're not even Shu anymore, folks. This is now Han. We've retaken the capital. We've rescued the emperor. We are now the the, the loyal Han army fighting against the Wei usurpers. So that's pretty cool. Here I go, vroom vroom. What will be your next move? Will it be for me to launch a vicious weapon attack? I think it should be, my lord. Well, uh, you know. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Ching chong chai chow. Oh, they split their forces. They have abandoned. They've sent some of their forces out of that harbor they just took. For long beards. Darn. Now they're on fire. So that's pretty awesome. So I might be able to capture Yue Jin here. That would be sweet. After all this. Five hundred left. I should have made them attack. Should have let somebody else weaken them, and then just figure if I attack them directly, I might be able to capture them. Nope, that really wasn't worth uh, worrying about. Apparently. Oh my god! I don't know what Daijobu means, but it's Japanese, I think. I don't remember where I heard it. Oh, it doesn't mean something disgusting. Mr. Serious Town. They're having serious problems. Oh, but they've got all their uh, farms developed again, so that's cool. And you know, I'm, I've had a lot of fun with Mr. Serious, but he's probably seen enough use in this LP at this point. I think at this point, I'm going to go ahead and let uh, them finish building ships, and then I'll send uh, Sork and Nail out there with a ship. Even though he's not a particularly great naval commander, it's playing against his strengths, he's at least as good at as, as the Wei generals are. We really do need some somebody to go out there and take charge of the situation on the sea. I okay, got the Ma Liang, Huang Yue Ying, and JG Mystery, the big head all-stars. Oh, I don't have a big head. I have like a cool headband, don't I? Anyway, let's see. We've got two... F well, let's take a look at where some of this stuff is laid out. 
two markets here, so another market here in a mint would be three markets. Or two markets in a mint, okay. Where is the farms for this place supposed to go? Wow. That is... Runan's got some stuff that's like really the far the prick away from Runan itself. I have got to throw down some towers here. They will be up there harassing my farms like nobody's business. In the meantime, what have I got? I got a stable and a barracks so I can recruit horses here. That seems to be pretty much what I can do. That is, assuming I went for four markets, a mint, four farms, and granary. Freeland 8. Yeah. That's what we're looking at. Brandon Elementor, Jing Tsai, and Dang Ai, another all-star group. It's gonna start building some farms. are going to head out there with some cavalry. You guys are going to build as many towers as I can fit out there. Like, I might even consider like a wall with a tower behind it. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. Because, yeah, uh, I mean, there's a lot of fighting back and forth between Wei and Wu. I doubt that Wei, Wu will have, or Wei will have that much time to attack, but, yeah, I don't like having the farms right there. And I don't plan on just pushing forward and taking this Shaotun for myself, because I kind of want to let Wei and Wu keep fighting it out. So, I think you see what I'm doing here. I think you guys trust that what I'm doing makes some kind of sense. Units who haven't moved yet. They're talking about Zhang Fei, probably, and uh, I think the situation appears in hand without his help. So he's just gonna head back to base. And that's it! That's it for this turn, folks. Let's go ahead and let the uh, let the turn play out, then I'll end the video, and uh, we'll start with a fresh turn ahead of us. And the mists of time. Stuff. Now that I have joined you, you can put your trust in me. I think Pang Kui must be Pang Dae's son. I've seen an evil omen for Chen Yi. Dong Hei's star is starting to lose its brilliance. Liang Jing seems to be in a big hurry lately to get things done. Maybe Jiang Ling senses something bad is coming. Liu Zhang's star is starting to lose its brilliance. I didn't think it ever had brilliance. Oh! Mad sick burn on Liu Zhang. Mati Mati. He's a shit. He's a brick house. I'm sorry. He's a brick. He's built like a brick shit house. He's a brick house. He's Mati Mati. He's let it all hang out. That's what I was trying to say. But I, I shouldn't be making fun of him because apparently the dude's about to die. Ma Wan star is starting to lose his brain. So no. Ma Zhu star. The entire Ma clan is, clan is about to die for some reason. Such loose security. Did they really think Luke Han would be stuck around here forever? Come on, man. You've only been there for like 20 minutes. Oh, never mind. It's not Rugan. Lord Liu Bei, a summons from Emperor Jian. You are wanted at the court immediately. Guy doesn't tell me what to do. I rescue his ass. Liu Bei, I have a great favor to ask of you. I want you to take my place on the throne. What? I could not begin to even consider such a thing. I appreciate your loyalty, however my request stands. The country does not need me. It needs someone like you, someone who can become its true leader. But I lack the virtues to take on such a task. I didn't know this was coming, friends. Do not be so modest. Everyone is aware of your abilities. Please, Liu Bei, you must help me correct the mistakes I made in starting this war. 
Very well. Unworthy though I am, I, Liu Bei, shall exhort myself and fulfill the duties of Emperor. Wait, what? Liu Bei is taking the throne? Liu Bei just stole the throne, the Han throne? I, what? I didn't know this could happen. In the novel, like, Tao Qian, however the heck you pronounce his name, asked Liu Bei to take over the city, and Liu Bei is all like, no, never, no, I mustn't do it, what will people think? I would be... And here it's just like, he didn't even make the three ritual refusals. He just made, like, one half-hearted refusal, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Thank you, look after my people in my place. You mean, like, the people in the temple here, or is that, what do you mean by your place? Yeah. Liu Bei has become emperor, I was not expecting... Congratulations on attaining the rank of emperor! Hey, no, but no problem, but let's go get drunk. I could not have done it without all your help. Exactly making the old emperor. One must continue to be diligent in order to honor the title of emperor. Now, um, take off your pants, my lord. I'm going to give you the BJ of a lifetime. No, no, no. That is his wife, and he just became emperor. I would think that that would be in order, but no, that's not the kind of thing we talk about. In this, this is a clean LP. We too shall redouble our efforts. We don't give a shit about you, Ma. Ma Tang sworn brother, who, yeah, whatever. Why isn't Guan Yu talking right now? Or Zing Tsai? War is brewing, and these are the times that will try us. I must devote myself to this new task and honor my predecessor, who trusted me so. Exactly. <laughs> Pancakes guy! Guy isn't even watching this LP anymore. Exactly. Your first task will be to choose a title for this country. Your family name is Liu. Will the nation continue to be called Han? Of course it will. He's, <laughs> Liu Bei is not going to, like, dissolve the Han. Just like, oh, I spent my whole life serving the Han, and now, suddenly, on a whim, I'm just like, what the hell, destroy the Han. Yes. It is only right that the name Han to be continued. Let this reign be called Han. Henceforth, the nation shall be called Han. Let us make it glorious. In month one of 219, Liu Bei was made emperor by Emperor Jian. The new reign was named Han. It's not, so, I... There was already, like, an old Han and a new Han. Is this, like, the really new Han? Or later Han? Or I, don't know. I am completely stunned. I had no idea that that was going to happen. That it could happen. I've won the game with Liu Bei's forces before. I don't remember him. Maybe I deposed the Emperor. Maybe I, because I, nobody was watching. It wasn't an LP, so I was, like, sneaky and went ahead and deposed the Emperor, even though Liu Bei would never do that. Here we come, walking down the streets. We get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Please give us your orders. Emperor, I think that's what you meant to say. Anyway, folks, wow. We, uh... Liu Bei is the emperor. I mean, I shouldn't sound that surprised. That's in, in history, he became the emperor of Shu Han, but he's the emperor of just, like, plain old Han. Just, like, receiving the throne from the rightful emperor. Like, at the emperor's request. Now, in... Alright, well, you know, I've got to end the video, folks. Let's talk about this in the next video. Wow, this is not expected at all. Uh, Guan Lu is here to congratulate us on achieving... Well, us, me, Liu Bei, uh, the in-game character. I'm becoming the emperor of Han, and uh, that means it's time to end the video. When we come back, folks, the king of Han, Zhang, got the only promotion that he could possibly get. So we'll see what he does with it and see if his force fights any harder. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.